we are very familiar with the kind of uh, launches what we do uh, the first the first slide is basically talking about uh, the very familiar success stories what we have wherein we have the rockets going up and when when you see this kind of familiar pictures or the videos you know that uh, success is already there with respect to the kind of rockets what we put out but not only that each of these rockets do carry quite a few satellites and people will be wondering that each time you have the number of rockets going up the number of satellites going up for example you can see those satellites being put out into the orbit in fact this was one of those unique launches where we had 104 satellites put out into the orbit so you have this kind of achievements when you have the satellites up in space basically they rotate around the earth around the earth earth is a rotating body satellites are going around it so when you see this kind of stuff you'll be wondering what really is happening on the ground with respect to these satellites so my talk is going to be completely on what we do basically from space with respect to what we need for the earthlings so my basic initiation will be with respect to the kind of satellites what india has already got we have got about uh, 19 satellites which does earth observation from space uh, it could be land and water it could be high resolution imaging for urban it could be ocean and applications related to ocean and of course weather and climate these are the areas where normally we have satellites india is very clear on the kind of satellites what is required for the country and the globe typical picture that can be taken today from space something like 60 cm you can see from a 600 km orbit that's what you are basically looking at in this particular picture which is taken from a carter sat 2s actually i will just show you one uh, visual which talks about what do you mean by taking pictures from space at the same time having multiple cameras viewing the ground so here is uh, three types of uh, viewability a 740 km path which covers the entire country like india in just four days you have a 141 km path and a 27 km path all of them are built in the same satellite that means one satellite has three cameras with three visibilities this is a very unique satellite because this gives us a lot of data i'm going to show a few examples of how this particular data provides excellent information for the country's developmental purposes this is a typical picture of the northeast the himalayan range and also the sundarbans can be seen so clearly from space in one shot which covers something like 740 kilometers what i told now when you get these kind of pictures from space what do you really do one example is that i can map the entire country's land use every year that means every year i know what was the agricultural productivity what is the forest like what are all the water bodies what kind of urban areas are developing etc etc this gives an excellent information for the government especially to do its planning in all these sectors you are seeing two maps here one is land use other one is wasteland wasteland is those areas where productivity is less in fact these areas you cannot have much productivity so what do you do you can do infrastructure development you can do facilities development there are two pictures here what you can see up and down on the top you see at a particular point of time nothing exists on the bottom you can see let us say a sola farm coming out in gujarat an industry which is coming out in another area that means you can identify the non productive areas for industry easily government can do that and that's what is an example here but not only that india lives in villages you can have agricultural productivity also calculated from space literally we are able to provide from space information to the government about what is the food grains grown eight major crops in the country today we are able to get exactly the crop monitoring and one month before the harvest the government knows what is the production of my different types of food products it could be wheat it could be jute it could be uh, cotton and various other stuff which i have put out in this particular slide so there is a great advantage of doing crop production estimation much before the harvest that takes place not only that look at the water water is very very important for the country the smallest of water body like 2.5 hectares can be seen from space every 5 days i am able to map all the water bodies in the country 
once you are able to do that, forget about reservoirs, it is even more easier. Because I'm, I can see even smaller water bodies, I can see bigger water bodies. What is the advantage? Advantage is that how much amount of water I have to let out for the farming community, especially under dry conditions. If you might have seen it closely, you can see in different points of time, this particular animation shows you very clearly how the water is reducing. In dry seasons, when the water comes down, the government can control the amount of water they're going to let out for the agricultural activity. So dynamics of water can be controlled from space. Now come to the groundwater. We talked about surface water. You can also get information about groundwater. You will be surprised to know India has information about exactly the groundwater potential for the entire country. Whichever part of the country you know, you go, you can get information from space, and this is given out to all the states, especially under dry conditions when drinking water becomes very, very important. We use these maps for providing water for the dry regions. Now coming to forests. This is another area where there is a tremendous possibility of using space. Not only the vegetation, it's also possible for you to look at the biodiversity. It's very important, especially the Himalayan region, the Western Ghats, the Northeast, has unique vegetation that is prevailing, especially the endemic vegetation. You see in this particular slide the entire country's map. Earlier days, before the satellites, India used to take 10 years to come out with state of the forest maps. That means, what is the state of vegetation, forest especially in the country? Today with space, you can do it every year. That means you have drastically brought down the time in which you can monitor. And today we talk about 20% of the country has forests. That is something very, very interesting for us to note. And it can be monitored. Every degradation can be seen from space. I'm going into another area where we talk about development. There's something called as watershed development. Watershed development basically looks at all the ridges and valleys. How do you conserve the soil and water? What we have done in the recent past, the exercises with farmers, this particular slide talks about how you can teach the farmers to understand their land, to understand their soil, to understand the slopes so that the water gradient is there. Where do you go for a structure? Where do you hold the water? Where do you let out the water? How do you conserve the soil and the moisture? This kind of a teaching helps the farmer to understand the situation and do the agricultural activity. And it has been a great success in the country, particularly in Karnataka when we started this kind of a project uh, way back in 2002, 2009. In about seven years, we could see a dramatic change taking place in about 738 watersheds across six districts in the country. Here is an example of an impact. On the left-hand side, you see images, image where a lot of degradation is shown. The red here indicates vegetation because it is taken in infrared. The pictures are taken in infrared and visible uh, bands. But you can make out very clearly on the right-hand side the degraded areas have been changed. That means the farmers were able to understand this technology. They were able to implement things on the ground so that the entire scenario changed. The beauty of this kind of uh, imaging and these kind of capabilities is that you change the health of the soil, you automatically get better produce. Once you have better produce, the health of the people itself changes. We could see this in many other places, including Kolar and Chitradurga, where people and their way of life changed when you have a positive impact coming out in about seven years, when the whole thing changed, especially with respect to the agricultural produce and farm produce. So this is an impact of uh, a simple new experiment that was tried in a large area in Karnataka. But what was the impact to the country? Here it is. The entire soil and water conservation of Government of India, which is implemented by the Department of Rural Development today, uses the same technology. And we from ISRO again monitor this particular program for 86,000 watersheds in the country. This is the beauty of doing a good technology taking it to the people, and once you see the result, take it to the country. This is a unique turnover. You can see in this particular slide a 2009 image where there is no uh, major vegetation or it's a degraded area, and you can also see one particular patch, there is no water. But the farmers were taught and they have developed beautiful forest area in addition to that excellent water body so that it sustains them in the dry conditions. This is a ground geotagging. That means a combination of geotagging from space using GPS 
and the satellite imaging for planning and monitoring is implemented for large number of watersheds under a program called as Integrated Watershed Management Program of Department of Rural Development. Basically, the ministry uses this. Yet another interesting example is a popular program of Government of India, which is basically for rural employment. Earlier days, before we started this technology, people didn't know where the money goes. This is what people were talking about. Means a lot of money is being spent in this particular program. But is it possible for us to bring in transparency? Here is an example of use of the GPS or the navigation system. You can geotag literally every asset that gets created on the ground. In about one year now, more than three crores of assets across the country have been geotagged using a simple mobile-based application, a satellite image, and a geospatial domain. These three things have been implemented. Today, the entire country knows what kind of employment generation is taking place. Because of employment generation, what kind of structures are coming? Are new roads are made in rural areas? Are new structures coming out? All these comes out openly. And it can be transparently seen by anybody on a Bowen platform, which we keep it open for anybody to see. The next one is another interesting area. We talked about land and water so far, but I'm taking you into the oceans. Today, the entire ocean state forecast is done by the space, because we have ocean sat pictures, as well as the insat 3D, which gives you the weather information around the clock. Here is an example wherein we are able to use the information on chlorophyll and sea surface temperature to tell the, the fishermen exactly where you get fish. Fishermen have to spend less amount of diesel on their motorized boats, exactly read the spot, get the kind of fish catch, what they need, and come back. That means there is a lot of impact on the ground with respect to the amount of money you spend, because fishermen are very poor family. They don't have much money to spend. They, we are able to control their use of uh, the diesel in their respective uh, boats which they use. Number one is that. Number two is that we are bringing in our Navic device, which tells them exactly the location where you have fish. And also, we give them information with respect to the kind of disasters it could be there. Because once you cross about 10 kilometers or 15 kilometers into the sea, you are cut off from the ground. You don't even get a SMS. But we have a Navic system which gives them messaging service as well as disaster alert in addition to the potential fishing zones. So they are very comfortable even in the deep sea. This is going to be soon changing. It's going to be a game changer very soon when we let out this particular mobile because it is the technology is ready and the whole thing will be into the field now. ISRO works on major disasters like flood, cyclone, earthquakes, forest fires, etc. I have a few examples of that. This is an example where the entire country looked at uh, with deep sorrow when we had the Kedarnath getting into a big problem due to the Chorabari Lake giving way, coming down on the people, and literally it washed away uh, a lot of area. Uh, this particular slide shows before after kind of event where we could easily make out the number of houses that got damaged, the number of people who were completely removed from that particular place. It was a major disaster. And not only that, from the space, we were also able to map, map, map out more than uh, 5,000 kind of landslides which took place in a very short time because it was one of the major extreme events that the country witnessed. Uh, I'm coming to the Kerala uh, problem where uh, one particular image is being shown here. On the left-hand side image, uh, you actually see the flooding. The, the cyan color shows the amount of water which impounded due to very heavy rains. On the right-hand side, it also shows the amount of water that sustained for a time. That means how, ma how much amount of area was underwater for 10 days? How much, amount of water how much amount of area was underwater for, let us say, six days, four days, like that. So you get the total information about what's really happening on the ground. And this goes near real time. How does it go near real time? Here is an example of the portal itself, which actually shows you from uh, August 8th to August 28th how uh, the entire thing happened on the ground. Almost on a daily basis, we started providing pictures from various satellites, Indian as well as the international charter images which were made available to us. This very clearly shows you the inundation that went on taking place and how the water spread. That means the water went on increasing due to the incessant rain in this particular area. So what could people do under these con conditions? Basically, people can quickly go to these places, those areas where maximum impact is there due to inundation, and the government was able to 
exactly bring in those people, especially uh, a lot of sorties uh, were brought in, wherein a lot of food packets were given, and many other relief and rehabilitation measures were done. Even today, uh, the government uses this kind of data for relief and rehabilitation, which is very, very important. This is a portal which uh, gives all this information what I talked about. So that means all applications, what we literally talk about from space for the good of the people is given out from one particular portal. We call it as Bhuvan. Bhuvan is nothing but Sanskrit name for Earth. And this geo portal is a typical national geo portal which captures all these kind of events, be it uh, for agriculture, be it for forest or water, or even for disaster, you get this kind of an information for the public to see. I would like to take you into a three-dimensional mapping that can be done from space. Here is a satellite which is quite unique. We call it as Cartosat-1. It provides a two-camera based image. It does stereo imaging from space. What does it give? I don't know how many of you would have uh, tried to go to Himalayas. Did you ever think of going to Himalayas? If you are not, I'm going to take you there. Right? Basically, this is an image of the peak of uh, Himalayas. You can suppose do a space-based mapping of this area. Is it possible for you to literally go there? Yes, why not? Let us go. Here is an example where you are actually on a virtual travel to the mission. What do you mean by virtual travel? I am virtually taking you to a place where you can actually see, you can see the peak of the Everest. Here is the peak of the Everest. But basically, this is a data generated from the Cartosat, Cartosat stereo of the Earth imaging satellite from space. And it provides that unique possibility of literally seeing every glacier on the ground, and from space, you can reconstruct a three-dimensional virtual model. Before I close, I thought I'll just uh, show two slides on Mars. All these, we talked about Earth and applications. Can we do similar kind of things on Mars? Why not? We have been in Mars for about four years now. That means our orbiter is around the Mars. It has completed four years. Suppose uh, I would like to have a similar kind of a picture on Mars. Is it possible? There you are. You might have heard about Great Canyon. Have you heard about a Great Canyon or a bigger one than that on Mars? Here is an example, which literally takes you into the something like Great Canyon of Mars. You can literally do a traverse over the Mars using a virtual reality kind of a system here, which enables you to get to know anything about the Mars, what you want, because India has done elaborate imaging of the Mars. I would like to say thank you by just saying one word here, wherein it is possible for you to do a one minute video from space. All this time we talked about static pictures, but this is a video which is being made. This is an image taken out from space. So especially if there is an event going on on the ground, if you want to do a video coverage from space, yes, it is possible. It takes very uh, simple effort for us to do a video coverage from space. Thank you very much.